A bipartisan House bill would define the fish red drum, spotted sea trout, and striped bass as coastal game fish. This designation would ban the commercial fishing and sale of these species. They could only be caught by hook and line. The legislation would set aside $1 million to compensate commercial fishermen who trade in red drum, spotted sea trout, or striped bass. Yadkin County Representative Daryl McCormick joins us to talk about this bill. What's the impact of this going to be on the commercial fishing industry if you get it passed? Man, the impact on commercial fisheries is rather minimal. Uh, aggregate of the three fishes in question is less than 2% of their overall catch. Uh, it's not something that's good for them. I, you know, I won't, I won't pretend that it is, uh, which is why we have to address the bill. We need to take expensive time and look at it see what the impacts are going to be for the state, um, the resource we used as a recreational fisherman. We are the you know, recreational fishing capital of, of, of America and we want people to know that. We want people to come here and, and enjoy our beaches and enjoy fishing with us. And it looks like the allocation of this resource might be best used for the state of North Carolina, all the citizens in the state, as a recreational fish. Yeah, how much money in tourism dollars are we talking by requiring these fish to only be caught by hook and line? That's, that's you're, you're dead on it, Kelly. That's, right now it's somewhere in the area of, and I've seen multiple numbers, 700 million for recreational dollars, 700,000 for commercial fisheries at 2% of their take. Why can't you allow commercial fishing and promote tourism fishing of the drum, the trout, and the bass. There was a couple of big videos on the internet with, you know, thousands and thousands of the, of the uh, striped bass. Two weeks after that major spill that was an internet fiasco, we looked at it again. Um, last time I went fishing, there was two carloads of guys from Ohio and two carloads of guys from Pennsylvania. There are a lot of folks coming to North Carolina to fish on our coast. and uh, they spend a lot of money when they're here. You set aside a million bucks to pay commercial fishermen for the p potential lost income. How far right. does a million dollars go in a case like this? Well, it has potential to go a long way if there are um, two sets. Of, again, I've seen a couple of sets of numbers. There's always everything you look at. Um, their gross receipts was less than $700,000. So statewide. Statewide. All, and that's aggregate on the three fishes. So. Yeah, go a long way. I mean, relative to their actual losses. Um, and that's not to say they don't find other ways to be productive during these short periods of time because it's just not very much. It's not a great percentage of, of their uh, resource. Representative McCormick, thanks for being on the show. Good to have you on. Thank you, sir.